Un coup de cœur. President, please be seated. Président, veuillez vous asseoir. The call is now in session. Today, the Chamber continues to hear the remainder of the current witness testimony and comments hearing testi testimony of a civil party that is to TCCP 261. And if possible, we begin hearing the testimony of two TCW. 943, says the President. And the graphic please report the attendance of the parties and other individuals at today's proceedings. Graffier, Mr. President, for today's proceedings, all parties to this case are present. Mr. Nunji is present in the holding cell downstairs. He has webs. He has requested to web his direct presence in the courtroom. The waiver has been delivered to the greffier. The witness who is to conclude his testimony today is present and ready in the courtroom. We have a reserve civil party that is to TCCP 261. We also have a reserve witness that is to TCW. 943. The whistle unit informs the chamber that the witness will arrive at the premise this morning and will take an oath accordingly. President, thank you. And the chamber now decides on the request by Nunchi. The chamber has received a waiver from the accused, Nunchi, dated 17 June 2015, which notes that due to his health, that is, headache and backache, he cannot sit or concentrate for long, and in order to effectively participate in the future hearings, he requests to have his rights to be present and participate in the 17 June 2015 hearing. Having seen the medical report of the accused Nguyen Chi by the duty doctor for the accused at the ECCC, dated 17 June 2015, who notes that Noon Chi has a severe back pain and dizziness when he sits for long and recommends that the chamber shall grant Noon Chi his request to follow the proceedings remotely from a holding cell downstairs. Based on the above information and pursuant to Rule 815 of the ECCC Internet Rules, the chamber grants Noon Chi his request to follow the proceedings remotely from a holding cell downstairs via and audio-visual means. The AV unit personnel are instructed to link the proceedings to the room downstairs so that Nunchi can follow it remotely. That applies for the whole day. The chamber now hands the floor to the Defense team for Kiel Sampon to continue putting questions to the witness. You may proceed, Counsel. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Uh, bonjour à tous. Uh, bonjour, uh, Monsieur le Témoin. Je vais um, continuer aujourd'hui les questions que um, j'avais um, à vous poser pour préciser certaines uh, parties de votre déposition. Comme hier, je vous demande d'écouter attentivement mes questions, elles sont précises, et donc euh, de faire en sorte de répondre précisément à la question que je vous pose. Vous avez indiqué avoir travaillé sur le barrage à creuser de la terre pour des canaux. Est-ce que nous sommes d'accord pour dire que vous avez travaillé dans la commune de Kampongtmo
Yes, I worked in Kampong Tmo commune at the Denmark site. I was located there. Est-ce que vous savez à quelle distance euh, l'endroit euh, où, où vous avez travaillé se trouve worked, du réservoir du barrage is, uh, du 1er janvier uh, the, uh, I cannot give you an estimate of the distance. However, the site where I worked was to the east of the Kampung Tmo Pagoda. Hier, vous avez indiqué que il n'y avait pas eu de machine pour la construction du barrage. Est-ce que vous voulez dire qu'il n'y avait pas eu de machine à aucun lieu du barrage ou simplement sur la partie sur laquelle vous avez travaillé and there was no machineries used. People used holes with their hands to dig the ground and carry the earth. Um. Je vous dis ça, euh, monsieur le témoin, parce que nous avons eu un certain nombre de personnes qui ont déjà témoigné devant cette chambre et qui ont indiqué qu'à certains endroits, il y avait euh, l'utilisation d'engins et de machines, de bulldozers, euh, d'excavatrices euh, également, euh, et parfois même l'utilisation d'explosifs pour euh, casser la roche à certains endroits. Donc, euh, est-ce que euh, cela vous fait modifier votre position ou simplement... Euh, euh, vous pouvez simplement parler de ce que vous avez vu. My objection is that council, if council wants to confront the witness with someone else's testimony, that's fine. Council shouldn't be characterizing the evidence uh, and then asking the witness whether that changes his testimony. There have been some witnesses who testified that. There have been more witnesses who testified that there was no machinery. So I don't think council should characterize the evidence and then ask the witness whether that would change their testimony. She's free to confront the witness with specific statements if she wishes. Je n'ai pas de problème. Confronter simplement. No problem with that. Um, um, monsieur le témoin, witness, uh, nous avons eu um, devant cette chambre, chambre des témoins. Witnesses, et là, um, uh, je me réfère à témoin, au témoin Petsoka. Transcript E1 bar 303.1 du 21 mai 2015, un petit peu après 10h57, la question qui lui était posée est la suivante. Monsieur le témoin, vous souvenez-vous de ce qui était utilisé en termes de machines ou de machines-outils s'il y en avait sur le chantier Sa réponse a été « Oui, je m'en souviens, nous avons eu des machines. Il y avait des bulldozers, il y avait des pelleteuses. » Fin de citation. Monsieur euh, le témoin, savez-vous si... À un autre endroit que celui sur lequel vous avez travaillé, il y a eu des, bull des bulldozers et des pelleteuses. I saw at the work site, from the beginning to the conclusion of the dam construction, I did not see any heavy machinery used. I worked and I went to different locations within the dam work site. I did not see any excavator or any bulldozer. Est-ce que vous pouvez euh, m'indiquer euh, à quels endroits du site vous avez été 
différents. Vous avez expliqué que vous étiez dans la commune de Campanctement. Est-ce que vous pouvez donner le nom des lieux sur lesquels vous avez été ailleurs sur le barrage Different units and groups worked at uh, different Vraiment, locations and I did not know their respective chiefs. Chef However, Cependant, I can say that they were always chieftained at various levels, uh, group chiefs, for instance, after the unit chiefs. Monsieur le témoin, ma question, ce n'était pas ça. Vous m'avez indiqué que vous êtes allé à plusieurs endroits sur le site du barrage. Je ne vous demande pas le nom des chefs d'unité, je vous demande à quels endroits précisément vous êtes allé, puisque vous avez vous-même indiqué que vous êtes allé à plusieurs endroits sur le barrage. Donc c'est le nom des lieux que je vous demande. It started from Koko to the north area of uh, Plong village Vers le nord and du village de Plong. it went uh, Uh, it extended uh, to the 1st January uh, Dam. So I worked at uh, various locations along this stretch. Uh, Members of uh, units kept relocating to different sites uh, within the, the whole work site of the dam construction. Et um, ces différents endroits, vous, And, um, les, vous, avez, vous y avez travaillé pendant la période des trois mois dont uh, vous nous avez parlé hier. C'est bien ça? Indeed, that is the case. Et j'ai compris que vous étiez responsable d'un groupe de 50 à 60 personnes en matière d'organisation pour les repas. Comment est-ce que vous faisiez Est-ce que vous cuisiniez sur place, sur le lieu sur lequel vous travaillez We cooked right where we worked, and for food supplies, each village had to be responsible for the food supplies to their workers, and the food supply was brought in from the village. Est-ce qu'il y avait une personne au was sein de l'unité qui était en charge de, des repas Et vous avez And, uh, évoqué hier uh, le fait que vous fournissiez, vous fournissiez en eau, uh, que vous aviez creusé uh, un puits, si je ne m'abuse. Un témoin dans une partie civile, Seng Sovida, explique à l'audience du 2 juin 2015, document E1 bar 308.1. La question qui lui est posée la suivante. L'eau était-elle potable Était-elle saine Tout le monde pouvait-il boire de l'eau bouillie La réponse... Sa réponse est la suivante. L'eau était mise à bouillir pour les ouvriers du chantier. Je ne sais pas quelle était la qualité de cette eau, mais en général, on prenait de l'eau dans une rivière, un ruisseau ou un étang. Il n'y avait pas d'eau courante. Fin de citation. Ma question est la suivante. Est-ce que, en tant que chef d'unité, vous avez pris des mesures pour faire bouillir l'eau que vous donniez aux ouvriers qui travaillaient sous vos ordres Nous avons 
Sometimes we did not boil it, or sometimes when it rained, we could not boil it. And we actually tried our best to resolve the living condition of the workers on site. Vous avez um, you, uh, également uh, évoqué uh, l'existence uh, de latrines dans uh, les dortoirs. Uh, Est-ce que vous pouvez indiquer à l'initiative de qui uh, ces latrines ont été uh, construites Latrines had to be built by the people in charge of the village and the workers who were sent to work there. So like in the case of my village, I organized the construction of those latrines. Est-ce vous également qui avez organisé you, uh, la construction well, des dortoirs who, uh, uh, Sleeping quarters were built. However, it was not a, a proper sleeping quarter as a, some parts of the roof were apache and the rain could fall through. However, we did our best for the workers there. Ma question est, euh, question je vous remercie de répondre précisément, c'est est-ce que c'est vous is, uh, qui avez été à l'origine de la construction uh, who, uh, were, was responsible for the building of uh, these uh, sleeping quarters. Yes, I was the one to manage and organize the sleeping quarters for the workers from my village. Et est-ce que c'est vous avez parlé des repas et expliqué que c'était les villages qui approvisionnaient les ouvriers sur le site du barrage Est-ce que c'est vous qui adressiez vos demandes au village pour la quantité de la nourriture qui était à fournir While I was on site, I made such an arrangement. I sent people to go to the village and uh, to bring back necessary food for the workers on site. I did that. And of course, I looked after the, the workers from my village. Et en termes de discipline terms sur discipline, la manière dont euh, les ouvriers travaillaient sur place, c'est vous également, également qui euh, étiez euh, responsable de la manière of, uh, dont euh, um, les travailleurs qui étaient sous vos ordres travaillaient It is my uh, responsibility to manage my workers. However, it was a chain of command. As above me, there were other chiefs at various levels. And when I received uh, strict instructions in terms of working hours, for instance, then I had to relay and implement uh, such instructions within the my uh, group. And we all did the same thing. I worked as hard as my workers from my village. Et est -ce que vous pouvez indiquer, and you, si vous en souvenez, quel était le nom de votre supérieur direct sur le site du barrage Bah, 
บาทมีการทานคือที่ผลักจะออกให้บาท The worksite supervisors had been transferred uh, to various locations or to the front battlefields, and I cannot recall their names. Um, je n'ai pas bien compris votre réponse. Au moment où vous avez travaillé sur le site du barrage du 1er janvier, vous, ils étaient présents sur le site également Ces superviseurs, vous ne les voyez que de temps en temps different areas or from different Les villages and they did not remain on site. They only came when it was needed and later on they had been transferred uh, to work for the military. Je voudrais Now I would like to talk about un autre point de vos activités, celle de miliciens. Dans votre déclaration D166-156, vous avez indiqué que Klang, le chef de la commune, si j'ai bien compris, était le chef de l'unité des agents secrets. Est-ce que j'ai bien compris uh, vos déclarations sur le point, sur ce point Et uh, je précise que cela se trouve à l'URN en français. 004 02 RN en anglais 0033 en Khmer Je vais peut-être reposer ma question puisque a priori il a l'air d'avoir un problème de compréhension. Donc ma question était de savoir si c'était bien Klang, comme vous l'avez indiqué dans votre déclaration, qui était le chef de l'unité des agents secrets. President, uh, witness, please hold on, and the international deputy co-prosecutor, you have the floor. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. I don't know whether uh, there's a translation issue, but in the in the English uh, version of his statement, it indicates that Klang, Klang was the commune chairman, not the head of the of the commune militia. So I don't know whether it's translated differently in French, but the English uh, does not uh, does not say it, that he was the head of the. Uh, Of the commune militia. Um, effectivement, il doit yes, y avoir indeed, un, there, there be, un problème uh, de traduction parce qu'en français, uh, je cite ce qui est écrit. J'étais un membre des agents secrets de la commune pendant deux mois en 1976. Dans cette unité des agents secrets, il y avait 12 membres dont le chef s'appelait Klang, mais il est décédé. Fin de citation. Donc euh, peut-être que pour euh, éviter toute difficulté, les, le point est de faire clarifier euh, la chose par le témoin. Donc, euh, monsieur le témoin, est-ce que vous pouvez préciser si Klang était chef hein, de l'unité des agents secrets en même temps qu'il était chef de la commune Ou est-ce que c'est une erreur Il est chef de la commune et pas chef de la commune. And uh, let me repeat, he was head of the commune militia. Et qui était le chef de la commune dans ces conditions Qui was the commune chief at that time Est-ce que c'est Klang qui vous a recruté comme membre de la milice
บาทล่างไหมบาท Yes, it was Clam who recruited me. Réponse oui, c'est Clam qui m'a recruté. Et avant qu'il vous recrute, est-ce que vous le connaissiez Est-ce que vous aviez travaillé avec lui I did not uh, know him for long before the recruitment. I only knew him uh, for a brief period before that. Uh, hier, à l'audience, répondant Yesterday, à une question de ma consoeur hein, des parties civiles, un petit peu avant 14h30, entre 14h28 et 14h30, plus exactement, vous avez indiqué, je cite, « Je n'avais pas pour tâche d'exécuter des gens, bien au contraire. J'étais là pour protéger le village, pour protéger la vie des habitants. » Fin de citation. Qui vous a dit que c'était votre tâche en tant que militien de faire cela to do that. But instructions for the village militia to guard or to patrol the village. Donc, euh, quand vous dites « je n'avais pas pour tâche d'exécuter des gens, bien au contraire, j'étais là pour protéger le village, pour protéger la vie des habitants », c'est ça que euh, le chef de la commune vous a dit Oui, c'est exact. Toujours un petit peu avant... 14h30, vous, um, vous avez indiqué que il vous avait été demandé, enfin, je peux comprendre ça, je cite, il demandait à des gens de surveiller les activités de tout le monde, quel que soit le statut des gens, qu'il s'agisse de villageois ou de dirigeants, peu importe. Fin de citation. Est-ce que vous avez vous-même été amené à Surveiller des dirigeants et si oui, lesquels Were you yourself ever tasked to watch over the people and if he, yes, who precisely? Well, at that time, I oversaw and I uh, also supervised uh, the and protected uh, the villagers in the village. Surveiller et protéger les villageois. It was under my purview. Voilà quel était mon devoir. Je répète ma question. Vous avez indiqué que il s'agissait également de surveiller des dirigeants. Ma question est donc de savoir si vous, vous-même, avez été amené à surveiller des dirigeants et si oui, lesquels. Well, I used to watch uh, over that, including uh, the militia leaders, the leaders in the village, for example, when they distributed uh, rice uh, to the villagers, uh, we had to make sure that uh, they did not uh, embezzle against the people so we had to, I had to monitor uh, that we monitor uh, the uh, 
uh, leaders of uh, communes. Je type. devais surveiller également les dirigeants des communes parfois. Alors là, j'ai un, un, un petit problème de, de compréhension parce que j'ai cru comprendre hier, vous m'avez corrigé quand je vous ai dit que vous étiez milicien euh, de la commune, vous m'avez dit non, euh, j'étais mi milicien du village. Et là, de votre réponse, je comprends que vous avez euh, été amené à surveiller des euh, responsables même d'autres communes. Est-ce que vous pouvez m'expliquer quel était exactement... Euh, le ressort de votre juridiction. Vous aviez le droit de surveiller qui, à quel endroit Le droit ou le devoir Uh, monitor the distributions of rice, for example, uh, at the commune or Sankat level, they embezzle against uh, the people, uh, and then uh, consequently people did not have enough uh, food to eat. Uh, so that is what uh, I uh, was supposed to do. I felt very sorry for the people at that time, so I had to monitor that that was done uh, correctly. Alors, c'est vous qui avez décidé de surveiller ou bien c'était so, des tâches qui vous, vous ont été confiées par le responsable de la commune No, nobody, nobody uh, appointed me, but I had to do it uh, on my own. Uh, when I observe uh, any uh, wrongdoing, then I monitor that, and people had suffered a lot because of the lack of food uh, to eat. So it was at my own initiative uh, to do that without any appointment or formal appointment whatsoever. Mais vous le faisiez en dehors de votre village Did you do that outside of your village No, I only monitor in my uh, uh, local uh, village, particularly when the uh, food uh, was uh, distributed. J'ai compris de vos explications hier que vous aviez donc utilisé votre rôle de milicien pour généreusement venir en aide aux villageois. Euh, vous avez même expliqué que vous avez volé du riz pour le redistribuer. Ma question est donc la suivante. Où est-ce que vous avez volé ce riz que vous avez ensuite distribué It was a common uh, uh, communal uh, rise uh, of the commune, um, and at the time I observed that uh, they did not uh, distribute uh, sufficient ration for the people. And then uh, over time when I went there, the rice disappeared. I did not know where uh, they had taken them away. So I um, consulted with the old villagers uh, as to what we had to do. And then the, they advised me that uh, if we could do anything, even stealing it, uh, we had to do it. Otherwise, people would be starving. Et ça, euh, c'était à l'insu euh, des membres de la commune Did you do that without the knowledge of members of the commune But Yes, you are right. They uh, oui, did not raison. know. If they had known, I would not uh, uh, have uh, survived. Si Even Klang uh, was not aware of that. If uh, he had known that, I would uh, si be killed uh, instantly. That was clear and obvious. Uh, such wrongdoing as stealing, if it was known, uh, this was uh, considered a serious offense, and I would be killed instantly if, I, uh, if it was known. Ça veut dire que personne ne vous surveillait vous. Hein, vous avez expliqué que il y avait un, un 12 miliciens au niveau de uh, la commune. 
Est-ce que euh, jamais aucun autre milicien euh, n'était en charge de vous surveiller Est-ce que vous disiez que tout le monde était surveillé Sauf vous Of course, the militia um, monitor our activities, and if the militias would uh, know that uh, they would uh, implicate us or accuse us of uh, betraying uh, them or betraying the uh, communal uh, interest, then I would be killed. So at that time, I did not... Uh, uh, let any militia members uh, knew that, and I had to uh, steer that to distribute to the people. So I did not uh, let uh, those militia uh, members uh, knew it. I felt very sorry for my people at that time, so I had to do whatever I could uh, to uh, help them, uh, because at that time uh, they only uh, had access to watery uh, uh, gruel at that time, so I had to do what I could do at the time. Hier, pourtant, vous avez indiqué que yet, um, vous avez volé du riz et que les villageois reconnaissants uh, vous avez proposé eux-mêmes du riz et même du poulet à manger. D'où venaient ces poulets et uh, est-ce qu'ils étaient autorisés à en avoir and were they authorized to obtain such foods? Actually, the uh, chicken was the uh, chicken uh, raised in that village. Because at that time, uh, I was uh, watching over at the times, and if I did not allow them to um, uh, prepare uh, a chicken, then uh, they would not uh, do it. And I could Et not si eat it, uh, I could not prepare it for poulet, myself, but I, I could ask uh, people to prepare it, and we all Je in the village uh, ate uh, together. At that time, everything had to be equal uh, between the uh, leaders and the villagers. We had uh, the same uh, food uh, ration uh, at that time. Donc si je comprends bien, au niveau de votre village, c'est so vous qui aviez I le pouvoir hein, de répartir village, hein, les rations entre villageois, c'est ça Vous avez l'autorité de partager les rations avec les gens, c'est ça correct Oui, c'est correct. I uh, distributed uh, materials, uh, food ration, and the forces, mobilized forces, in order to uh, uh, collect uh, fish and uh, uh, crops. And I was the one who actually oversaw uh, the management and distribution in the uh, communal dining hall. Alors, j'ai bien écouté votre narration des faits, well, euh, monsieur le témoin, et comme euh, vous l'a rappelé hier mon confrère de Nouchéa, ce n'est pas exactement comme ça que les choses ont été perçues par certains des villageois, en tout cas. You, et euh, je voudrais vous lire une partie euh, de la déposition du témoin Outseng à l'audience du 3 juin 2015, document E1-309.1. C'était un petit peu après 9h32, entre 9h32 et 9h34. Comme vous l'a indiqué mon confrère, il vous a cité ce passage dans lequel Outseng vous décrit, comme je vais le reciter pour que vous ayez les événements, enfin, sa relation des faits en tête précisément. Il parle de vous, il dit. C'était le chef des miliciens dans la commune de Kampongtma. Comme je l'ai déjà dit, nous pouvions voir des couteaux et des épées tachés de sang. Lorsqu'il arrivait à bicyclette, tout le monde avait peur de lui. Fin de citation. Ma première question est de savoir si, oui ou non, c'était vous le chef des miliciens ou c'était Tang. Oh, 
No, at that time I was not the leader non, je uh, at pas all. Plank was the only leader at that time. I was an ordinary dirigeant. member Moi, of militia. Enfin, un membre ordinaire de la milice qui avait le pouvoir fact, de gérer les rations alimentaires de tout le village. Unit of militias had the authority to share rations among villagers in the village. Well, at that time, I was the uh, militia of the militiamen of the village, and I was also tasked to oversaw in that village. So I was the uh, head of that um, uh, militiamen in that. Uh, uh, I was the head of that village, and also I was also a militiaman myself. So I uh, had to try uh, to find food and distribute it uh, to the people so that people uh, could uh, survive. Est-ce que, oui ou non, euh, vous, euh, vous avez circulé à bicyclette uh, dans you, le village yes no, avec des couteaux et des épées tachées de sang Dans le village, sur un bicycle avec des couteaux et des couteaux stainés de sang. Ce n'est pas le cas. Non. Ce n'est pas le cas. Non. Ce n'est pas le cas. Non. Of course, I uh, rode the uh, bicycle, but uh, I did not carry with me any uh, knife or any weapon. Et je comprends de votre déposition que vous n'avez jamais tué ni exécuté personne. C'est bien ça. Never killed or executed anyone. Is that correct? Yes. That is correct. Oui, c'est exact. Le même témoin Outsang, un petit peu plus loin dans sa déposition, indique, toujours à propos de vous, je cite, « Il n'y avait que lui pour ce quartier de Kampongtma. Il n'y avait que lui qui montrait son influence et qui portait ses épées et ses couteaux. La façon dont il se comportait montrait bien qu'il s'agissait d'un homme fort et influent. » Fin de citation. Est-ce que, euh, monsieur le témoin, vous étiez effectivement un homme fort et influent qui euh, faisait ce qu'il voulait euh, dans son village Tages of food uh, and the uh, challenges faced by the people in the village. Uh, I was uh, very uh, afraid of uh, committing a uh, mistake. So I, I was not influential in um, doing any uh, thing in the village other than helping my villagers. Monsieur le Président, j'en ai terminé de mes questions et je Mr. cède la parole à mon confrère Kungsamon. And all parties to the proceeding. I only have a few questions to follow up. Earlier on, I heard uh, you mention uh, Ki as the uh, chief of Tropang Thmo uh, commune. Is that correct? Response. Yes, Kampung Thmo commune uh, was Ki. Uh, he was in the uh, west, uh, southwest uh, part of that commune. Question. In your statement, the 166-156, Khmer N00321786, French 00402982, English 00330719. Un 
you made mention Kun as the uh, deputy chief of the commune. Uh, can you um, tell the court whether uh, you mentioned that name? Kun or Ki, or they are the same names or different people? Si yeah. de, de même personne, ki et kun, si but il s'agit de deux personnes différentes. Response: uh, They are different individuals. Réponse, one is Kun, and the other Kun one was Ki. Ki. Ki was a different Ki person, and Kun was d'autre. another. Donc, s'agit de bien, bien de deux personnes différentes. Question. Question. You. Uh, said that uh, the members of the commune committee were all uh, dead. And could you uh, tell us uh, the composition of the uh, uh, village uh, committee uh, in Gong Sal? Uh, was there anybody who is still alive now? Response. Actually, the three uh, men who were working uh, with me, Kong uh, Sao and others, uh, were all uh, dead. Thank you. Question. Question. Uh, could you recall their names, the three men you mentioned? Response. Kun, Tan, I have I have forgotten uh, the other the J'ai other man. Question: Can you uh, tell uh, the court uh, their Pouvez respective position? Nous dire quelle fonction ils avaient. Respond: Kun was in charge Kuhn of economic affairs of the village. Uh, Tan was his deputy. Tan I was uh, the chief uh, le of chef all the three men. De ces trois hommes. Question. Question. With regard to the members of your working group, when you were uh, in charge at uh, that time, you said you were working uh, in the first century dam and there were 50 members under your supervision. Do you know uh, is there anybody who is still alive to date? Um, response. Uh, there, there are many who are still alive now, Beaucoup but I have forgotten their vie, names because we have all grown old now and we have uh, forgotten the names. I only can l'âge. recall one or two of Je them, uh, but I believe that many of them are still alive now. Question. Question. The villagers who uh, who were in your uh, unit and Kong uh, uh, Sao unit, uh, are they still alive now? Response: Yes, they are. They are alive. All of them are still alive today. Question: Question. With regard to the location of your work site, you said you were working in the 1st January Dam, in your testimony earlier, in uh, Koko, Thlong, and Tukvil villages. And earlier on, you also made mention the 1st January Dam uh, toward the west part of uh, Santuk Mountain. De la montagne de Santuk, My du barrage, question to you uh, is that uh, when you were working over there, was it uh, on the the first January dam or it was on the uh, sub dam or the uh, canals uh, outside uh, or adjacent to the um, first January dam? Can you clarify that? Response: You know, we had we had to uh, ch- uh, move from one village to another. Sometimes we were mobilized to work on uh, the first January dam, and then they, we were moved to uh, the other uh, place. So we had to uh, be moved, you know, from one one place to to another. Uh, Sometimes we had to go and work in Tlong. Sometimes we had to go and work in another village. So our uh, our 
you know, you need verse more on a mobile. We were Notre not uh, stick to only one location or one work site. We had to move. Question. Well, question. well, my question is that if you are working on the suivante. actual first jury dam or any other site adjacent to the uh, main first jury dam, for example, on the canal uh, of the of the dam. Work. A response. It was within, actually, it was within the first uh, jury dam. Uh, it was not. Uh, sent to work anywhere outside of the first year dam. Question. Question. Now, let me um, clarify on an issue of the work sites that you were tasked uh, to work. Can you tell us precisely uh, where uh, you worked? Response. Response. At the start, uh, we had to work départ, on the construction of the first January dam. That was the starting point uh, toward the northern part of the, fir de of de the first January dam. Question, uh, what do you Question. mean specifically by the northern là? part of the first January dam? Response. It Réponse. was along the uh, first January dam, but it was in the northern janvier, part of the uh, tributary uh, at the times. But we were on the move, actually, at the times. We had dit, to move from one place to another. Question. Question. Do you know which uh, village was it or which uh, position or so, uh, to your recollection? Response. It was uh, in Kuwait village. Dans le village de Kuwait. Whom Kuwait? Lawyer. Kuwait village. But when you mentioned the Question. other three villages uh, earlier on, it, uh, Kuwait was not one of the villages you mentioned. Can you tell the court uh, about this village? Uh, is Kuwait Pour also um, a village? That uh, the first January dam was uh, was there, or what? Response. Well, it was about one or two hundred meters away from the first January dam. Question. I, I just want to be more precise on the um, actual work site. Uh, you were working, whether you were working on the main uh, first January dam si or somewhere else outside the uh, first January dam. So again, um, was your workstation uh, 100 meters or 200 meters away from the main first January dam, or what can you clarify? Response. It was uh, adjacent to the first uh, January dam, our uh, uh, place where we uh, took the rest uh, at night. It was about 100 or 200 meters down uh, from the uh, first January dam. Question. Can you tell uh, the court about Question. the uh, division of labor within your unit? Uh, how was the labor unité? divided at the time? Response. Well, at the time we had to divide uh, our labors into different uh, uh, subgroups. You know, uh, one group would comprise of 10 or 12 members, uh, but I had to supervise on a daily basis. Questions. In relation to your um, work expectation for uh, the uh, for your unit, uh, how much uh, did you have to accomplish at the time within your uh, unit? 
response. Réponse. At that time, there was a quota limited. Uh, for example, um, we had to accomplish uh, two cubic uh, meter of us. We had to carry that. So that was the uh, quota imposed on each member of us. Question. Uh, my, my question is about the responsibility of the entire uh, unit. Uh, what was the actually work requirement for the entire unit before you subdivided them into uh, smaller or subunits? Response. For example, uh, there was a plan uh, put down to us that we had to complete, for example, 10 uh, square meters or so. Then we had to uh, further subdivide it into our smaller groups, and then we had to accomplish uh, that target. So that was the uh, usual task assignment uh, given to us. Question. Just now you Question. only uh, gave us the example. I would like to know the precise order or instruction from your uh, superior. Uh, can you tell the court as to how much uh, you were expected to accomplish uh, within your group? The work was assigned according Réponse. to the uh, number of members within the group. Usually, each worker will be assigned a two cubic meter work ratio. However, it is also dependent on the, the total number, as some group, uh, some workers got sick. Question. It seems that you do not understand my question. My question is for the overall measurement of land plot as it was assigned to your entire group. For instance, how much land that you had to dig in order to build the embankment of the dam? Did you receive such an instruction? Answer indeed, we did. And then we would divide the overall work assignments to the subgroups. For instance, for a, a length of 10 meters, a, a group will be assigned in order to dig to that, to dig the ground and carry it uh, to build the embankment. And the assigned uh, plot had to be done to by, by uh, the, the group. And in some parts, the depth of uh, the canal was 5 meters. Question, yes, I understand your uh, example, but I'd like to have a concrete work ratio that was given uh, to your group, for instance, what was the depth of the canal the width and the height of the embankment. And if you actually worked at the dam work site and in your capacity as a supervisor, you should have this knowledge. Answer. The embankment on the west part of the uh, dam was uh, 30 by 40 meters. And uh, the width of the embankment was uh, wide enough for vehicles to, to travel on. And the width, the, the top part of the canal was 50 meters. However, I cannot uh, give you the, the depth of uh, the dam. Question. My question is in reference to the specific locations that you worked, and I do not want the, the, the measurement of the dam when it was completed. I want the actual work assignment given to your group at that particular site. And if you were a unit chief, then you had to know the measurement before you uh, could uh, reassign the portions of the overall assignment to your group to the, the subgroups under your uh, supervision. 
President, witness, please hold on. And the international deputy co-prosecutor, do you have the floor? Um, I think the question is repetitive. It's been asked a number of times now. The witness has answered as best he can. Uh, I think counsel should avoid to trying to lecture the witness about uh, whether he, what he can and cannot remember uh, at this point in time. So um, the question is repetitive. The witness has answered this a number of times. Um, I don't understand the purpose of further questioning, asking the same question over and over. Council Kongsam On. I'd like to respond to the objection by the co-prosecutor. I keep asking the same questions because the witness has not responded to my question. President, witness is instructed not to respond to this question. And counsel, please move on. The witness already responded to your question to, to the limit to the limit of his knowledge. Council, thank you, Mr. President. Now, for the question uh, to you, uh, Mr. Witness, in terms of the work assignment, and you mentioned that uh, sometimes two cubic meter work assignment was given to each worker in your unit, or sometimes 1.5. However, it could be extended up to four cubic meters. Can you please uh, tell the court what was the actual work ratio given to each worker? Answer. Réponse. What I said yesterday, that is for cubic meter, as a uh, daily work ratio, in fact, uh, that was given to those uh, who were under disciplinary action. They had to work harder than to the ordinary workers, so that uh, daily work quota was for those who were under disciplinary action. Council, thank you. Who imposed the disciplinary action against those workers? And uh, I myself did not do it. Do it. However, the imposition was by those people coming down from the commune. Question and how many Question. workers were Et under such de, disciplinary de action each day? Answer. Réponse. If the if workers did not make any mistake, then they si would not be subject to disciplinary error, action. However, sometimes they were accused of making mistakes, and uh, for that reason, they were under the disciplinary action. But such action did not occur on a daily basis. Questioned amongst your 50 year workers for the period of three months that you worked at the first January Dam work site, how many workers were under such imposition of the disciplinary action? Answer, none of my workers was under uh, such action as none of them pretended to be sick or something like, uh, similar. If they were too tired, then I would allow them to rest. Question. When you were asked 
about the uh, daily work quota for Lorsque members of your uh, unit, you said yesterday that uh, sometimes they were assigned a four cubic meter daily quota, but now you said that none of your workers was under such disciplinary action. Can you please uh, clarify the situation? Pourriez-vous nous dire ce qu'il en est vraiment? Answer. I apologize. Uh, probably I made a Je mistake yesterday when I Je said that. Me suis-je trompé hier lorsque j'ai dit cela? Question. Question. Again, on the total uh, work assignment Alors, for your entire uh, unit. La totalité du travail qui could you please uh, tell the court, for instance, for a particular area that your unit was assigned to, at the completion of the assignment for that particular work site, what was the achievement? Did you fully complete it before you were relocated to another part of the uh, dam project. And uh, allow me to give you an example. For instance, the, the width of the canal was 50 meters and the depth was 10 meters. Then, out of these 10 cubic meters, I had to assign to the entire work assignment to my workers, so they had to dig the ground of that measurement in order to build the embankment. Question. I understand that, but uh, my question is, did you, did you complete the work first before you were assigned or relocated uh, to another work, uh, part of the work site? Answer. Réponse. For the first ten days, Les we jours, could complete the uh, work assignment with the uh, measurement nous of uh, 15 avec meters wide. And that was the actual achievement. Et que nous avions réussi à accomplir. Question. Question. Now, in relation uh, to your uh, position, you said that you en were a village chief and you position. were vous avez dit que also vous a militiaman. And that uh, your role as a uh, militiaman was only uh, for your village. Ne concernait que votre village. Did you have any contact or communication with the uh, commune level in terms of uh, security matters? Pour tout ce qui relevait des questions de sécurité, aviez-vous entreteniez-vous une communication? Answer: ce We sujet? received instructions regarding this matter from the commune level. But allow me to stress that uh, I only guarded my village. And the work assignment was imposed from the commune level by the commune chief. Question: A while ago, my international colleague asked you about your position in the village, and you said in your militia duty you had to monitor members of your. Uh, team. De votre équipe, que ça Can you give us an example nous donner un of your monitoring activity of a particular uh, member of the group? De surveillance d'un membre en particulier de votre groupe. Answer. I did not actually monitor anyone Réponse. in particular. Après dire, je n'ai pas surveillé qui que ce soit en particulier. 
Question. Thank you, Mr. Rines and Mr. President. I am done. President, the hearing of testimony of the witness is now concluded. And after that, we will hear testimony of a civil party that is to TTCP 261. A TPO staff, Madame Chai Dade, will sit alongside the civil party to provide support. And Mr. Lee Lun, the chamber is grateful of your presence. During your testimony for the last two days, and your testi testimony may contribute to ascertaining the truth. In this case, your testimony is now concluded, and you are no longer required to be present in the courtroom. Therefore, you may return to the place where you are staying, or the place where you are residing, and the chamber wishes you all the best and a safe journey. Court officer, in collaboration with WISU, please make a necessary transportation arrangement for the, the witness. And Mr. Mung Sawan, the UT counsel for the witness, the chamber is uh, thankful for your assistance. The court is now uh, adjourned for a short break and resume at 10.30.